फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नॉइस पॉल्यूशन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी टॉक अबाउट एयर पॉल्यूशन वाटर पॉल्यूशन सॉइल पॉल्यूशन थर्मल पॉल्यूशन सो समटाइम्स वी थॉट एट हाउ अ नॉइज कैन बी कम्स इन टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ पॉल्यूशन यस नॉइज पॉल्यूशन ऑल्सो अकर वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट नॉइज इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम लैटिन लैंग्वेज नोजिया एंड विच मीन्स the sensation of discomfort or we can say sickness or uh, discomfort unwanted noise okay so, and pollution means the presence of unwanted particles into our environment is called as the pollution so we can say that noise pollution means the unwanted undesirable sound which can cause some harmful effects on living beings is called as the noise pollution the intensity of the sound can be measured in decibel we measure the intensity of sound with the help of decibel and if there is high volume high noise is there then the unit of the sound will be about higher than 85 decibel now what are the main sources of noise pollution when we talk about different kind of sources of noise noise pollution uh, the sources related to in transportation because in many vehicles and automobiles they uh, in their horns they generate a high volume so they create noise pollution then we can say that in the aircrafts whenever they generate a high level of sound, sound in the uh, homes various uh, <laughs> grinders and other machines are used which can create noise pollution in factories and industries there is there are several machines are present they can cause the noise pollution so all these are the main source of uh, sometimes we use loud speakers and high volume of television and radio also cause the noise pollution so all these are the main source related to noise pollution now what are the kinds of noise when we talk about noise pollution so we should know about the kinds of the noise so noise can be categorized into three types first is continuous noise continuous noise second is intermittent noise and third is impulsive noise impulsive noise continuous noise whenever the high intensity of sound occur continuously in a particular place that is called as the continuous noise the noise which is generated in the power house are the example of continuous uh, noise where in 24 hours machines work on then second is intermittent noise uh, whenever the irregular in uh, noise in regular uh, intervals noise occur and there is a high volume of noise and it occurs into the several intervals irregular time period that is called as the intermittent noise for example in factories some machines uh, uh, produce high noise sometimes they produce low noise so they are called as the intermittent type of noise third is called as the impulsive noise when very a uh, noise generate for very short time period it is called as the impulsive type of noise whenever uh, gun fire is the example of impulsive type of noise so these three kinds of noise uh, are present now what are the effects occur with the noise pollution harmful effects of noise pollution so first hearing loss occur due to the noise pollution um uh, ear drums may damage then loss of concentration occur in many student loss of concentration in studies occur due to the noise pollution then hypertension occur due to the high volume of, of noise surrounding uh, a person then heart problems can cause heart problem nervous uh, tension can cause then uh, sometime discomfort and uh, frustration can cause due to the noise pollution so all these are the harmful effects that can cause due to the new noise pollution now what measures we should do to control the noise pollution now we can use some silencers 
and soft horns into the automobiles plant should be planted because plant absorb the sound energy then sound absorbers should be used to control the noise pollution then uh, the factories and industries should be uh, generated far away from the cities and uh, we can say that uh, some uh, government should make some laws related to noise pollution and people should be aware to control the noise pollution we should not uh, use uh, loud speakers and high volume televisions and uh, uh, fire crackers should not be used so uh, by using such type of methods we can control the noise pollution thank you